Good afternoon and welcome. I'm extremely pleased to welcome you today to celebrate an exciting moment for the university and the school. We are here to name the building that is home to the Crown Family School of Social Work, Policy and Practice, Edith Abbott Hall. This dedication recognizes Edith Abbott's historic role in founding and leading the school at the University of Chicago and for fundamentally remaking and reimagining the social work profession and the training of social workers. Edith Abbott is widely considered a founder of the profession, a profession she saw as akin to those of law, medicine, and theology, requiring not merely the good intentions of its practitioners, but a scrupulous intellectual education and rigorous practical training. Honoring Edith Abbott this month also is special, as this month is recognized as Social Work Month, devoted to the professionals who uplift the lives of individuals, families, and communities, and the ways they drive social change. And March 20th is recognized as Abbott Sisters Day in Grand Island, Nebraska, the birthplace of Edith Abbott and her sister Grace. Today, in renaming our building, we honor Edith Abbott as a scholar, forward thinker, fearless innovator, and committed teacher. More than 100 years ago, she advanced a bold vision that became the Chicago tradition of social work education. It was a vision that change would happen only if rigorous research guided policy and practice that research and practice should connect to and reflect the pressing social issues of the time, that no single discipline or approach could address these complex challenges, that to make the greatest impact, education should happen not only inside the classroom, but in the community, and that this vision could only be realized if embedded within an outstanding research university. As the school's first dean, Edith Abbott bravely advanced this new vision and influenced generations of scholars, educators, and students, doing all of this at a time when there was still intense public debate as to whether or not women should even be permitted to vote. I'd now like to turn it over to President Robert J. Zimmer. Thank you, Dean Gorman-Smith. To the faculty, students, staff and alumni of the Crown Family School and the broader university community, I'm very pleased to join you for this important occasion, the renaming of the Social Service Administration Building as Edith Abbott Hall in recognition of the work, influence and legacy of Edith Abbott. The decision to name a building after one of our scholars is an acknowledgement of both their great service to the university and of the substantive impact they made in their academic discipline or chosen field. Edith Abbott is recognized as a pioneer in the field of social work and a prolific educator, author, and researcher on the emerging challenges associated with urban life in the late 19th and early 20th century. But perhaps her most impactful achievement was the advancement of the field of social work itself. As the dean of what we now know as the Crown Family School of Social Work Policy and Practice, Abbott and a few like-minded colleagues conceived and implemented a new vision and mission for the school and social work education more broadly. Abbott shared this vision with the university during her 1930 address at the 161st Convocation, stating, it is in the universities where there is well-organized graduate work, not merely in one, but in all of the social sciences, and where there are cooperative relations with the law and medical schools, that the great schools of social welfare will ultimately be developed. At the present time, particularly in the non-university schools, the student too often becomes a routine technician, sometimes a clever technician, but still a technician, 
and not a scientific person with the love of knowledge and the use of the tools of learning. Abbott recognized that connecting the school with a modern American research university offered a great opportunity to transform social work education, designing an innovative approach that combined a strong academic curriculum with practical experience through clinical and field work, grounded in the rigorous research, analysis, and interdisciplinary discourse that has been the hallmark of the University of Chicago since its inception. This unique approach envisioned by Abbott has been a defining trait of the school throughout its history and remains so to this day. And the school's influence on the field of social work can be felt across the nation and around the world. The Crown Family School continues the work that Edith Abbott and her peers began in the early years of the school and its predecessors, integrating research, training, and direct community engagement to identify solutions to some of society's most complex challenges, including health disparities, educational inequality, poverty, child and family welfare, and crime and violence. This is work that takes place at multiple scales, from interventions at the individual level all the way up to policy decisions at the city, state, and federal level. In this time of significant social challenges relating to the global pandemic and the impact of generations of multiple forms of social and economic disparity, the work of the Crown Family School and its scholars, students, and alumni remains critical. Accordingly, we are pleased to honor Edith Abbott's fundamental contributions to the field of social work and her enduring legacy at this university by giving her name to the building that sits at the heart of the Crown Family School's scholarly and educational activities and which will be home to future generations of social workers, social researchers, and policy designers who will continue the school's tradition of discipline leading research and impactful education. And now I'm pleased to introduce Provost Kai Lee, who will speak more about Edith Abbott and her enduring impact. I'm honored to join all of you for this momentous occasion of renaming the building that is central to the work of the Crown Family School after Edith Abbott. Edith Abbott was ahead of her time. A social reformer and dedicated instructor, she had a profound and lasting impact on the study of social work, not just at the University of Chicago, but at institutions that would follow her lead in bridging research, policy, and practice to prepare future social workers. It is a fitting tribute to her legacy that faculty, students, and staff will come together to advance the field of social work in a building that carries her name. The Crown Family School is dedicated to working toward a more just and humane society, and its curriculum is guided by the principles of intellectual pluralism, engaged scholarship and teaching, integrative practice, critical thinking, and theory to action. Those principles are a continuation of Edith Abbott's enduring vision for a graduate program that combined classroom learning with education in the field. Born to a family of activists, Edith completed her undergraduate education at the University of Nebraska. She was one of the first women to receive a PhD in economics from the University of Chicago in 1905. From the beginning, she saw the necessity of conducting social work education within a university. She paved the way for the School of Civics and Philanthropy to merge into the University of Chicago, leading to what we now know as the Crown Family School. In 1924, 
she was appointed dean of the school, making her the first female dean of any graduate school in the United States. That alone is remarkable. But Edith was a trailblazer in other ways. She was an influential voice on issues such as immigration, labor, and assisting children in need, issues that remain relevant today. She shaped the curriculum at the university to go beyond casework and provided students with the groundings in legal, health, and social implications of social work and administration. That combination of theoretical and scientific research and practical experience has distinguished our graduate program and made it a model for other institutions. You can see today in the emphasis on compassion and community engagement that is core to the Crown Family School. Looking to the future, the diverse community of faculty, scholars, students, staff, and alumni of this school will continue developing new ideas and solutions to support individuals and to strengthen communities, just as Edith Abbott envisioned. Now, I would like to return back and welcome Dean Gorman-Smith. Thank you, Provost Lee. We at the Crown Family School are enormously proud of the history of our school, a school founded and led by remarkable women. Edith Abbott and her vision continues to be a force and influence on our work here and in schools around the world. Thank you again for joining us today and for celebrating this remarkable woman. Edith Abbott reimagined and revolutionized the social work profession and education, creating one of the first schools of social work and social welfare in the United States. From the start, she advanced a vision of social work as a real discipline, not just deeds based on good intentions. Unlike other schools, Edith Abbott's vision of social work education was unique. It included a commitment to first-rate research and a solid foundation in theory and research methods in the social sciences. She also believed that no single discipline or approach could address the interconnected and complex social challenges faced. And herself, an economist, strategically and intentionally built a multidisciplinary faculty and intellectual tradition that continues today. Connecting the school to a major university also was key part of her strategic vision. She said, a good professional school of social welfare not only needs a close connection with a good university, but the modern university also needs such a school. The school began its formal connection to the University of Chicago in 1920. That same year, it launched its PhD program. Today, Professor Julie Henley chairs our doctoral program. As director of our PhD program, I find it fascinating to read about the doctoral program that Edith Abbott and Sophonisba Breckenridge launched 100 years ago. It was a program committed to training first-rate researchers, scholars, and leaders to more effectively contribute to meaningful progressive change. Doctoral training at the school required that students critically engage with the social concerns around them, informed by social science theory and their own empirical investigations. Students collaborated with faculty, other students, and community members in their research endeavors. Early graduates pursued diverse dissertation projects that addressed all sorts of topics such as urban poverty, employment, child welfare, immigration, and housing. They went on to teach and lead social work schools, and many took leadership positions in social service organizations and in state and federal government. Edith Abbott's fingerprints are evident all over the school today, and especially our PhD program. I'm truly impressed by the similarities between the PhD program in the two eras. Our students also receive an interdisciplinary training, steeped in both theory and research. They come to our program to acquire the knowledge and skills necessary to advance social, economic, and racial justice in many of the same areas pursued by doctoral students 100 years ago. 
Our students embrace diverse schools of thought and engage in a variety of research methods, many pursuing participatory approaches in partnership with organizations and communities. Then, as is true now, our positionality shapes what we see and how we understand the world, pointing to the value of collaborative research endeavors that help reveal the complexities of the issues we study and further the effectiveness of our work. By now, we have graduated over 500 PhD students. Most of our students today, like before, go into teaching and research careers at universities, while others take leadership positions in policy organizations, foundations, and government. I hope that Edith Abbott would be proud of what her program has become and the legacy that she has left. In 1924, Edith Abbott was named the school's first dean, becoming the first female dean of any graduate school in the United States. To further advance the school's dedication to scientific inquiry, she launched the Social Service Review, a scholarly journal that would spotlight the research and evidence-based practices of current investigations. Mark Courtney, the Crown Family School's Samuel Deutsch professor and editor of the review, has continued this tradition in examining a broad array of topics. There are ample reasons to name our building after Edith Abbott. But as editor of Social Service Review, I'd like to highlight Professor Abbott's vision of the kind of education needed to build a social work profession, a vision she was phenomenally effective at promoting. More than anyone else, she deserves credit for moving early social work from being an occupation requiring merely the good intentions of its practitioners to a profession informed by a rigorous interdisciplinary education and grounded in practical training with social welfare institutions. As reflected in the masthead of the first issue of Social Service Review, which she co-founded in 1927 with her longtime partner, Sophie Nisbet Breckenridge, Edith Abbott was always passionately committed to the scientific and professional interests of social work. I can't think of anyone who exemplifies better than Edith Abbott the enduring mission of our school. Although Abbott, with a PhD in economics, was known as a passionate statistician, she also was a formidable teacher. Her devotion to her students was unshakable. Former students remember her vividly. Ms. Abbott inspired us in many ways. She had a broad view of social work. She encouraged students to take courses beyond what was offered in SSA in the Department of Economics, of Medicine, of Law, and saw that social work embodied all of these areas of knowledge beyond that which uh, we learned in SSA. In my particular career, uh, Ms. Abbott somehow had established a permanent place in my social work uh, psyche, and it certainly came forth as more and more of my experience uh, went on. I started out on the, as a caseworker and perhaps became uh, more of a community social worker. So I think that Miss Abbott was there all the time, even though I didn't see her because she started me out on all of this when she registered me in SSA as a 19-year-old. And as an architect of curriculum focused on training leaders, Edith Abbott's impact on students and faculty alike has been profound to this day. To me, Edith Abbott is a model of how social work scholars can combine a passionate commitment to social justice with rigorous research programs grounded in interdisciplinary social science. The way she used data to demonstrate the need for social reform lives on in the way that the Crown Family School approaches the field. Here, social work is not just about helping individuals and families in need, it's about understanding, assessing, and advocating for structural changes. At the Crown Family School, we not only train master students who are going to be practicing social workers, but also students in the college who take part in our minor, students in our new social sector leadership and nonprofit management master's program, and PhD students. All of those groups benefit from having their education informed by social work values and the rich interdisciplinary intellectual atmosphere that Edith Abbott envisioned. 
100 plus years after its founding, Edith Abbott's vision of a school of social work devoted to rigorous research that undergirds policy and practice is more important than ever before. The pressing social issues of the day Abbott confronted remain challenging and seemingly intractable, often demanding new lenses of inquiry and broader inclusion of those most vulnerable, not solely as victims. The Crown Family School of Social Work, Policy and Practice formally prepared me to assume leadership and black family scholarship as a student here. In the tradition of Professor Abbott, my scholarly research as faculty here has contributed to an enlightened research paradigm about black fathers' family involvement and informs local and national family policy leaders and guides family practitioners on black family formation, development, and engagement. Scholarship focused on addressing the major social issues of the time was key. Above all, she wanted the work to have an impact on society. Edith Abbott's own greatest contribution to public policy was in the area of social security legislation. Her book, Public Assistance, American Principles and Policies, was the product of many years of research and teaching. She helped establish the Cook County Bureau of Public Welfare and worked for reforms that would end the exploitation of immigrants. During her deanship, she and other faculty at the school were deeply involved with national policy in such areas as immigration, labor, and child welfare. Guided by an interdisciplinary tradition, Crown Family School scholars conduct innovative research to address pressing social challenges, such as educational inequality, homelessness, health disparities, crime and violence, poverty, and child and family welfare. Working at multiple scales, from individual to policy level interventions and perspectives. A mentor once told me that social problems don't come in neat packages. Social life is messy. If we want to do good that's lasting and work to build the society we want, we must work across social institutions. We must employ a multimodal and interdisciplinary approach. Edith Abbott knew this, and she brought about this approach in the classroom, teaching courses on the courts and the role of the state in the history and philosophy of our field. This was more than a century ago. My colleagues and I draw from this tradition to address the social problems of our time and we draw from it as we train our students to bring about a better world. Abbott was an advocate of progressive social reform. Rather than casting blame on people living in poor conditions, she focused instead on changing the structures that gave rise to these conditions. Her legacy lives in the Crown Family School in what we do and how we do it. My research embraces Abbott's vision. For example, my work challenges the unquestioned use of existing theories, which can lead to a failure to truly understand children and youth who are culturally and racially diverse. My work also demonstrates the detrimental and multifaceted impact of racial discrimination to advocate for systemic change. Social problems of today are extremely complex as they occur in the midst of unprecedented diversity and extreme polarization. After 100 plus years, Abbott's vision resonates more than ever. Edith Abbott's work has deeply influenced the Crown Family School and the entire social work profession, and we continue to be inspired by her vision to use research, education, and direct intervention to advance a more just and humane society.